Hey, it starts just like Super Mario World does. That's cool. Okay, I already don't like the, the art style. That's not good. Baby Mario, baby game. Oh man. You know, this is kind of to the point now where Nintendo started getting really weird. I think 95, just when they started losing their minds. I had something to do with them not using CDs, I swear. Nintendo really started losing their marbles. Me model was getting just a little too old, you know? The babies are mine. Who the hell is that? Snatching only one baby. The creature vanishes. Jesus. Who would steal a baby? This is the Mario. I picked the right game, right? Okay. Wait, I don't understand. Is this the same Mario that we know? Or is this like its own universe? I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, Yoshi can use his hands? Doesn't he have like T-Rex arms? He wouldn't be able to do that. His arms aren't long enough to put it in front of his face. You know how long Yoshi's neck is? He literally can't do that. He's got hands, guys, but they're really tiny hands. He physically can't do that. Aren't these guys part of Koopa's crew? Jesus, the story is so dark. <clears throat> One second, hi, bro. I'll answer your question after this. Wow, look at that, guys. So this is Super Mario World 2. I've never played this game before. I've never seen it before. It came out really late in the Super NES cycle. This game was four years in development, so that means they started working on this game right after... Super Mario World 1. I always ask you guys, I'm like, why did they never made a Super Mario World 2? Because I was like, man, this game is like the number one selling game in the Super Nintendo. Why didn't they just capitalize off that? And I guess they did. It just took too long to make. Way too long to make. And another thing too, a lot of people don't even know this game is called Super Mario World 2. Because most people know this game as Yoshi's Island. Apparently it has nothing really to do with Mario. And it started its own series. Which probably is whack. Uh, you guys notice the graphics are really good because it uses the FX chip, the Super FX chip. It's the same chip they use for games like Star Fox or uh, Stunt Race, which just adds more graphical power and makes the game more expensive on the shelf. <clears throat> so, yeah. Hopefully this is a good game. Uh, it sold really well, it did really well, but... I completely missed out on this game because, like I said, it came out in 95, and that's when the, that was a year away from the 64. So, yeah. Cool. 
I don't know if I'm going to 100% this game, but uh, we'll see. Depends how much I enjoy it. Go check it out. Yo, what's up, B? Okay, let me see Hyper's question here. Best for any plans to grow on Twitch? Or are you satisfied 200 subs or less? You feel you're wasting your time spending streaming to 119 subs? <laughs> what? What question is this? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't even understand how to answer your question. What is this? That's like going up to somebody and asking me, like, "Yo, are you satisfied with your life?" <laughs> how do you even how do you even answer that question? <laughs> like, what? I don't know if he's being disrespectful. I don't, guys. I don't think he's being disrespectful. Uh, my friend and I beat a three stack of cheers today. Save that replay, B. You gotta show it to me, bro. I gotta see that. <clears throat> there's B. There's some. There's a controller joke in there somewhere, but I'm. I just woke up, so my brain is not active. But show show that replay to me sometime. That'd be hilarious. I wish you could have like a theater. Is there like a theater mode B where you can like join your friends and watch replays? That'd be cool. Are you sure you're not wasting your time on Earth? <clears throat> My friends want to stream, but I tell them that less than 200 subs is is literally wasting his time. Well, that depends. It depends on what your friend wants to do for streaming. Does he want to do it as a hobby? Like there's there's people that stream that have like three viewers not and no subs and they're like super happy about it because they get to play games with, and watch and interact with people, you know. It always starts with one person. One person will join your stream and they're there every day, and then it'll be two people and then three and you grow. It really depends. I can't answer that question because I don't know. I need more info. But like one tip I can give for streaming is that, you know, if you're there and you want to do streaming for a living, you want to do it seriously, you can't just stream on Twitch and grow. It doesn't work that way. You know, unless you're like, even if you're someone who's like godlike or whatever you're playing, even if you like plug in a Kronos Max and you play Warzone, you still won't be able to grow. Like you have to do, you have to advertise yourself through different means. Whether it's Twitter or YouTube or whatever. I came from YouTube, so it was easy to grow on Twitch because I already had a following. <clears throat> but in terms of, like, do I enjoy having less than 200 subs? It doesn't matter. You know, I'm doing fine. I'm basically on vacation right now. I'm just waiting for Street Fighter 6. I'm doing whatever the hell I want to do. And I'm glad it's people that support me that do it. That's why I stream every day. If I really wanted to grow, yeah, I'd be streaming whatever is the current fighting game. Actually, to be to be blunt, I tell you guys this all the time, but if I really wanted to grow, if I wanted to be like rich and famous or whatever, <laughs> I wouldn't be playing fighting games. <laughs> Please, give me a break. I can play way I could play so much more popular games than fighting games. <laughs> that'd be like the worst that'd be like the worst idea ever. I'd be covering other games and fighting games. But I'm I'm happy with this with this community. This is good. Otherwise I wouldn't do it. This is a really colorful game. Oh I forgot to ask you guys, how's the volume? It's Yoshi's Island. Literally Yoshi's Island. Wait, what was the name of the island in Super Mario World? Uh, yeah, I am on him. Why is that bad? I'm using- there's three types though. I'm using balanced. So hopefully it's fine. Yeah, probably because it uses the FX chip for probably has problems. 
So, I'm assuming Baby Mario, this is like its own universe, and Baby Mario is its own character. I guess Mario has its own stories half the time. A relay system. This game is really... graphics look really weird. The countdown timer will begin. What? The more stars you collect, the safer you are. Okay, so you don't die in this game? Is that what it's telling me? Oh, you literally play as Yoshi. Can I jump off, Yoshi? Oh, what the hell? It's Shy Guy. Why is Shy Guy in this game? You can't die. You lose Mario. I'm just checking out the buttons. What's this? Like, what's this thing? Is this like some kind of ability thing? Oh, I got a double jump? Hey, this is the double jump from uh, Smash Brothers! That came from this game? Okay, that's cool. Can I eat coins? No. Oh, you need to know there's a, there's a double jump right on the first level. Oh wait, oh, okay. I thought that was part of the background. It's not really a double jump, it's more like... It kinda sucks. Alright, what's this? What's this about? You can chain it? Okay, hold on, hold on. You guys are telling me a lot of things right now. Wait, why did the timer come up? The timer comes up when you stand still? Or I don't know, just telling me what it currently is. <clears throat> 10 is Mario's HP. You don't have ammo yet. Ammo. Okay. Anything worse I need to know? Float and you can chain it. What do you mean by chain it? Oh, you kind of, you time it like the, like Mario floating with the cape? That's kind of cool. Hover and jump by holding B down, you can hover in the air. Make the extra effort. At least it's a tutorial. Okay, is there a pit down here? I can't see if there's a pit down here. I wouldn't assume there is. Okay, what's this? I mean, I'm in, you mean I'm in, uh... What's it called? Journal journalist land. It's really crazy there's like shy guys in this game. So I'm passing them off to all the Yoshis? Weird. It's like a giant rally. Okay. What's this? Lock, grab, spit out. Looks like a, a two year old drew this. Push twice to throw.
Hasty. What is the change? Oh, release the throw. Push twice the throw. I'd probably like release, right? Well, let's try it. We can just try it first. I think it's more for advanced players. Score. Is there a secret I missed in the first level already, guys? Okay, how do I get out of this now? Oh. What happened? Make eggs, throw eggs. Have you guys ever played this game before? Like, I've never seen this game before. This is so, like... I feel like I'm playing, like, some kind of fan-made game. It's so weird. Making eggs. Oh my god! Oh my god, you literally poop them out? This game is hardcore. Oh my god, they copied that from Kirby. What the hell? That guy was minding his own business! Gather five for a one-up. They add to your point total. They also add flowers to the gold, gold ring roulette. So this is how Yoshi- this is why Yoshi throws eggs in Smash Brothers? Oh, I can move while- Can I jump on this guy? What's this? Grab baby Mario, jump, or even use your tongue to touch him. Or throw eggs at him. Okay. What the fuck is that annoying sound? Eggs. Press A once. Cool stuff will happen. To cancel the throw, press down or. Is this a bad guy? Like, like this guy has a flower and he's like singing and shit. I don't think this guy's a bad guy. The arrow just eat him anyways. No mercy. For his tongue. Yeah, hold on, we need to hit this cloud. Can I hold more than one egg at once? It's kind of hard to aim. It, when, like, the X is the direction it goes, guys? Well, let's find out in a second here. Oh, okay. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I was trying to use the X to, like, aim directly at it. Who's this guy? What's that? What's that dude? Who's that guy? What the hell is going on? Oh, no. Get out! Jesus. Can I go here or do I need to? That's kind of scary. Whoa, look at this area. Chomp rock is a useful object. Push it and it will roll. Then on one edge and I'll start rolling. Jeez, a lot of, a lot of weird mechanics in this game already. Oh what? Well, you can come load it up. How many eggs can I carry? Oh my god! How does this game not crash? Whoa. 
Can I jump on enemies? I can. Oh my god! Who's this flower? I don't get it. Kind of strange that Nintendo kind of made Yoshi a main character. You know, we got Yoshi Safari. And then they started the whole Wario Land thing. And now this. People love Yoshi. You guys remember Yoshi in the live action movie? But he's basically a raptor. Look dangerous. What's this flower do, guys? Can I kill these guys? Oh, I can. What's that sound? So the flowers are collectibles? They're like the DK coins? Collect stuff in every stage. Okay. What are these star guys? I feel bad for these singing <laughs> flower guys. What's this? What the heck is going on? Wait, what? I'm, I'm so confused when that happens because when you get hit, I'm used to like chasing Yoshi and grabbing Yoshi back. In this game, you gotta grab Mario. Headshot. They subverted your expectations? I think they did. What's this? There's invisible items in this game? Oh no. How are we gonna 100% this thing? We're going to the Shy Guy's lair. Hey, it's just like Super Mario 2. What was that? They just keep coming. Twenty stars and five sunflowers. It's an homage. Everything kind of respawns. Didn't I get that before? Probably not. Why are the coins turning red, guys? In each level, 20... Oh, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. There we go. They each add one point to your score. There's a lot of collectibles in this game. Oh no! I don't like these guys.
I don't get it. Hey, the rock respawned. You can pause and see what you collected. Oh yeah, you're right. And so when you have a hundred points, you know you've collected everything in the stage. Is that how it works? Yeah, there's no stage timer, thank goodness. It allows you to, uh, explore. Okay, that's kinda cool. There's gotta be something up here, right? Like, why would this rock be here? No. What's going on here? What's this thing? Is this the ending? It said it adds more of these to the end. Nothing happened. I guess because I didn't get it. It gives me a higher chance or something. Okay, so... I'm missing... Th uh... Jeez, I'm missing a lot of stars. Like, 13 stars, right? Do I have to get all these items all over again, or do I only need to get those 13 specific stars now? Like, does it remember... I gotta get it all over again? Wow, he like high-fived him and literally gave him to the other Yoshi. Crazy. Well, hmm. I, I don't know if you guys want 100% this or not. It might be annoying for the chat to tell me where things are. You can always like play and then come back. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I mean, if you guys know where the things are, I'll listen to you guys, and you guys can just tell me if you guys want to do it that way. I, I don't mind collecting everything, but I just... As long as it's not inconvenient for you guys, you know, to tell me where things are. Usually when, like, when we're gonna 100% a game, like Donkey Kong, for example, I have a soldier on standby, and we, you know, we plan it out, but this is kind of like... a spur-of-the-moment kind of thing, so if you guys don't mind, uh, uh, if you guys want to tell me where things are, sure, let's do it. Getting 100% gives you not gives nothing. I I thought uh, Bunky said you get there's some secret levels and stuff you unlock. Oops, I lost one of my things. Oh yeah, I missed something up here, didn't I? This guy right here. Oh, those are the stars I missed. So now I'm screwed? He won't respawn? You can generate stars with special eggs? The problem is that stars add to the timer and you have to not lose any by taking hits. Oh. Right. So you have to do it without taking a hit? Oh, so there's an abundance of them. Oh, because I got hit too many times. Okay, I understand what you guys are saying. Oh, so then we pretty much got all the secrets, didn't we? Okay, the only problem now is I need to know... So are you guys 100% certain I have to recollect all the flowers again? Can someone clarify that? I understand what you guys are saying now on the... On the stars parts, because I got hit so many times, I lost all the stars. Oh, press start right.
It says I still have to collect them. Would be foolish if you had to. I mean, we can complete the level really quickly and see. Here, let's just complete the level real quick and we'll see. We'll know for sure. Well, I don't know if we will know for sure. I'll probably just give the same stats. Hey, he can look upwards. That's weird. Do the flower before you leave so you understand the mechanic. What flower? What do you mean? Do what flower? What do you mean by that? You don't have to touch the flower, you can just hit it. That red flower down there gives you stars? Oh, really? Can you redo the levels? Yeah, this is our second playthrough of the level. Still missing six. No, oh, bad RNG again. Hey, what's up, Stone? Okay, yeah, let's just focus on the stars. I doubt we have to recollect the flowers again. I'm gonna purposely not touch the flowers, okay? So we know for sure. Hey, look, it, it upgraded to 91. I can see this being really tough though, the hundred percent, because these stages are gonna get way more complicated. You know? Oh. Is it actually one of those games that become worse when you 100% it? Well, if it becomes bad, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. It's fine. I'm just testing the game's mechanics right now. Rats. Can I restart the level? Yeah, I can. Crash Bandicoot hard. What game have we played that was like super hard to 100%? In Crash, you have to get all the boxes and not get hit. Yeah, that sounds tough. That does sound tough. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go check out this red flower you guys were talking about. Lose that egg. Oops. Can I move the rock the other way? Did I have a stomp? Oh my god, I have the stomp, guys. Man, these, all these moves are from Smash Brothers. That's cool. Right. Oh, that red flower. So what do I gotta do? I gotta bank it into the flower? Get super happy when you bank a shell in there. Okay. So this game's gonna require some geometry. If they have like a flower like that. You can also spit enemies into the flower. Can I shoot them upwards or something like that? What's with this red egg I have, guys? What's up? What's that about? Oh, man, I need the bowler. Oh, wow. Uh, you can get coins and flowers shooting eggs at them. I think my next egg is the red one. It is. Oh, what the heck? How did I get that red egg, guys? You guys know? How do you stop the cursor? Recovering a bank shot gives you stars? That's crazy. Okay, we got 30 now. I think L or R? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it said lock on. Okay, thanks guys. Oh yeah, there's nothing down there. Bank doesn't look easy though. Yeah, don't get hit exactly. I don't want to lose those stars. Here they come.
So if it just hits the top of the screen, I'll just fly outside the side of the screen. Let's see, let's confirm it now. If you do it all in one go. Yep, yeah, looks like you do. You guys are right. Okay, I think for now we should just play the game. So I think uh, going for the hunter is gonna be really time consuming. Might be on this game all week. But if it, if it turns out to be, like, super, super fun, like, we can go for it later. I mean, we could always just replay the levels, right? It's not a big deal. But at least this kind of gives me an idea of the mechanics now. Now I kind of understand what this game is all about. I'm not going to finish the game in one stream? No, definitely not. We're probably going to play some Final Fantasy later. I'm going to play this for a little bit, replay some Final Fantasy. Halo's got their Christmas thing going on. I might even play some Halo tonight. We'll see. We're gonna do a bunch of shit tonight. Imagine delaying Demon Souls stream to Ace Yoshi's Island. Could you imagine, King? I'm like, okay, guys. Well, before we play Demon Souls, we're gonna play some Yoshi's Island. Let's go. And everyone's like, 100%. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Here's 10 gifted subs. How's Halo going? Uh, the... It's going good. They're, they're anti-cheat issue. I still haven't run into much cheaters yet, but... I'm seeing more and more videos pop up of people cheating. So that's not good. Like, Halo doesn't have an anti-cheat. And it's a free-to-play game. It doesn't have an anti-cheat... Or a kill cam, or a report function. So in order to report in order to report a player, they expect you to take a video, record it, upload it. And you have to upload it a certain file size, by the way. To their official thing. And then they have to review it and manually ban the player. And keep in mind that 343 literally said, We knew making a free-to-play game that there's gonna be some cheat there's gonna be cheaters. And then in six years, they didn't add a report function. So, I mean, this is the world we live in. The Capcom approach? You know, I was thinking about... One of the pro- one of the pros to fighting games, guys? I didn't even think about this. One good thing about fighting games is you don't have to deal with cheaters. You guys know that? It's kind of weird, hey? I think one of the only genres we don't have to deal with fucking cheaters. Leg switchers? <laughs> yeah, but leg switching is really obvious. You can just blacklist them, you know? It's not like everyone's leg switching. I got the fire on the side, right? Could have two. I have three. I don't know. <laughs> Forsaken? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, every pro player's favorite player. What if I just bank the egg this way? to turn the stars. Oh, 
Uh, he did kill the scene. His entire team got disbanded. And... Yeah. You can always use sand as the 100% did. Uh, no. Like I said, I don't... We pro like, most of the time, we're not even going to be using Sans anymore, guys, because we're playing, like, newer games now. The Sans was mostly for just, like, the older, cheap games that don't have, like, continues and shit. And, like, like I said, this is, like, my first playthrough, so we don't want to, like, make my first playthrough, like, really weird, you know? Guys, look how much uh, Super Star Wars was ruined for me. Because you clowns made me play on the hardest setting. The game was completely ruined. And I had the most obscure, like, point of, point of view playing that game. I kind of miss the older cheap games. Well, we can always do, like, a... A little run back, you know? Like, me and Qual, I want I wanted to do some of the older Castlevania games again. And, uh, I want to play some of, like, the really hard games and do them completely legit. Uh, with no sands at all, like Battletoads, for example. I would love to do that on the stream. So we might come back to some of these games, you know? Like, come back to some of the hardest games, you know? That would be really cool. Okay, Ace of Spades. Can I get this flower now, please? It's like a 50% chance, right? Jesus, I'm so unlucky. We we begged you to play novice, you insisted Jedi, did I? Doesn't sound like something I would do. One hundo! Cool. Alright, let's play the next level. This game looks kind of whack. It's really different. It's not Mario, that's for sure. You know. It's really different. And that's why, like, it's strange this is called Super Mario World 2, and that's why it started its own series, you know? Okay, this has got to mean something. Like, what is this? Stomp it, maybe? It's like a switch or something. That game is hot cheeks on hard? Oh, dude. St Super Star Wars on Jedi is, like, irredeemably hard. In the, in the worst way. Whoa, what's going on here? This game's dangerous. What the hell is going on here? Oh my god! Oh yeah, you don't die? Wait. Wait, is that death? Try this stage again. I thought you guys said you can't die. You sure as hell can die, I'm on the second level. You guys lied to me. Oh no, I stomped on that poor flower's head. Uh-oh. No! Come here. What's this? This is the middle ring for this level. Let me continue from here. Alright. But you can't go back. 
Do you remember? Press Y and down to make an egg. Yeah, I remember. Okay, we're gonna have to hit something. The eggs go through this? What the heck? Oh, this is getting a little intense, guys. What a weird ass game. What? What the heck is this? So what's up with this thing, guys? I don't get it. What's up with this block? Oh, maybe I can push it? The heck is- The heck is this thing? Another checkpoint ring? Wow. What the heck's the point of that? What the heck's the point of any of this? So anyways, I was wondering, are you guys satisfied with your lives? Okay, how do I get up here? Is this a pit? Oh, no, it's not. What is the point of this thing? Oh man, getting 100% in this game? Oh my god. Just looking at this level... It just irks me. The block is just a platform, hey? Okay. Man, Yoshi can't jump for shit in this game. I understand he's got a baby on his back, guys. It's a team effort. Wait, special items? Wait, what's this? You can morph into a helicopter? Okay, Miyamoto was... This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is- this is literally what I'm talking about. This is, like, the reason why the N64 controller looks the way it does. this thing? Yeah. What? What's this? You literally transport to that? Oh, we definitely made the right choice, guys. Not 100% of this. It was a team effort, guys. Thank you. 
I, this, piece, this piece of shit just like taunts this one up on me and just flies away. I don't want coins. Oh no, not this again. Weird ass game, dude. Look, we tossed it to the blue Yoshi now. Man, are you able to get the flower in this game or not? I don't understand with all this RNG shit. Brutal. Okay. Weird. Okay, I'll be right back. I did, yeah, I did beat Final Fantasy 2, guys, but uh, we're playing the Pixel Remaster now. What's this? Wow. I can hit that button. On the ground, and it rocks. I mean, I, I love that this game has a tutorial. I mean, in, in Super Mario World One, there was those speaker boxes that kind of taught you things. Yellow eggs create coins. Red create two stars. And you have to you have to eat the, the egg before it drops. It's a really weird mechanic. I'm sure there's people that are able to collect the stars just by banking alone. There are two controller configurations. Oh yeah, we know about this. Would you like to switch? No. Great. Take that. And this. Oh my god, stars. Hey, look, guys, it's E-Try. E-Try, I thought you jumped off of Mobius. Hey, there's the there's the key. Let's go back to that thing. What happened? Can we just enter from the chimney? Growing balloons.
Ajá. What? Oh shit, which one's the expert? One? Oh, it's like a Simon Says? This is really confusing because I'm like trying to remember what the Super Nintendo controller buttons are. Ah, the uh, 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 uh. X is not left. I'm getting confused with the Xbox buttons too. What the? Uh, it was like a combination of Hot Potato and Simon Says. Weird. And, and, uh... Yeah, whatever the hell that other stupid game is called. Feels like a Mario Party minigame? Yeah, that was weird. That was cheap. I'll remember for next time, though. Oh, by the way, guys, in the latest CPT, no spoilers, <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, Big Bird that did a setup. He did a setup, guys, where he purposely got Oki, and what he did for Oki was backdash. So what I'm saying is, he, he did, after post super, he did double dash uh, with Ken. And then he had, he had, he was plus, and he backdashed. And what that did is it purposely made him flip out of the air when the opponent did wake up button, and made him drop his combo because he canceled into something like a fireball, and he punished him for it. How legit is that? Is that like super gimmicky? I'm like. I was just thinking about it, like, like how practical is that? It was infectious? Oh, okay, sorry. There was someone using Ken, I'm, I'm fairly sure. Like, I didn't watch the CPT, I just saw a clip of it. So I was like... Oh, what the hell? Wait, what? What's going on? What is this game? What is this? Okay guys, okay fuck talking about Ken, okay? Can we talk about what I'm talking about? The setup. Like, what do you guys think about that? You guys even know what I'm talking about? Oh shoot. You guys don't know what I'm talking about, do you guys? guys. What am I gonna do with you guys? What am I gonna do? extremely risky and it would only work against certain characters like most most hit confirms are like two hits right you're not gonna like unless you're you're canceling to v trigger yeah. i think in the situation infectious used it it was on bison i think bison did wake up light kick into psycho blast Light kick flips him out of the air, cycle blast whiffs. The punish window would be really small too. I don't know, it's just very interesting tech. Oh my god, dude! What the hell? Look at this bad luck! What have I done to deserve this? 
Like, seriously. Oh my god, we almost got 100% on that level, guys. All I had to do was collect some coins. Jesus. It's super easy 100% this game? Didn't we just talk about how it isn't? That's pure FX chip, guys. That's crazy. Whoa! That really trips me out. It looks so cool. What the heck are these guys? Can't eat them. Oh, no. Dude, I'm still... Every time I get hit, I still look at Yoshi rather than Mario. It's weird. Heyman, maybe you're just like the gamer god, bro. Like, you're just like the prodigy. And no one's on your level. I met a lot of prodigies, man, in school. They are telling me how godlike they were at Golden. But it's not that hard. <laughs> I'm just, dude, I'm just fucking with you, man. Were those projects actually good though? They were ass. You guys ever get in those situations where like you run into some like some acquaintance or something? And then you somehow get into a conversation about something you really know. Let's say Street Fighter. And they're like, yeah, I, oh, I was like, I'm so I was so good at Street Fighter. I'd kick your ass in that game. And you have like that look, you know, like you know there is no way that can be true. <laughs> See, I, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like the situation where you're like, hmm. <laughs> Yo, come on, thanks for the 17 months. It says, see my Luke. Dude, see my Luke. How dare you say that to me? See my Luke. That happened to me with MK. I made the guy rage quit in the second round. <laughs> that exact situation happened. That's what I'm saying. It happens at least once, you know? You can't hit these guys? How could they be immune to eggs? Wait, how do I... Uh-oh. Huh. Okay. Now this game just... You're just jacked with lives in this game. But I shouldn't talk shit. Remember when I talked shit about Kirby? Oh, man.
Hey, thanks for the gift sub, Jaeger. Appreciate it, man. I gave the gift sub to him, <laughs> the gamer god. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Shut up! Okay. I died too many times in here. Too many times. Whoa! The heck is that? Now we gotta backtrack. This thing's eyes aren't attached to its face. Can this thing hurt me? Yep. Do I still the key? Dropping stars. Of course, the lava monster can hurt you, dude. Everything in this game smiles and shit. Can't tell what's what. So they're either smiling or singing about something. Get a load of this. Pouring performance enhancers. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh shit. This is the happiest boss music I've ever heard in my life. Oh my god. You guys see that bank shot? That'd be cool if it did extra damage. Oh my god, we knocked his pants off! This is a real game, guys, right? Like, this isn't a fan made game. Damn, when you get all the stars, we suck. Oh no, auto scrollers? Isn't that Super Mario World, uh, when you beat the game, the theme? No! Uh-oh. <gasps> guys, there's a hidden red coin there, did you guys see that? Oh my god, how did I do that? Uh oh. Wait a second. Oh shit. This is advanced. Uh oh, I took the hard route. Go away. <gasps> There's a flower there. Now, if you had to play Mario in this game, you would have no chance.
Take that. What was the point of that? And this game took four years to make, guys. Four years development time. No, Mario's definitely not controlling the ocean, not this time. He's not even staring in the right direction. How could he be controlling him? Look, he's staring the opposite way. Aren't I? Oh my god, what, if, there, if there's red coins there, those sick bastards. Okay guys, this is it. I'm finally gonna get the damn flower. This is statistically impossible! It's 50% chance! And we went by it like seven times, maybe eight? That's impossible. Jesus. Oh, really, King? Okay. Oh my god, look, he's on those, those big things. Look! Look, guys. Oh, I can't even hurt him. It'd be cool if the different Yoshis you get have different powers and stuff. Oh my god, they're all invincible. Oh, you can jump on him. You can aim in a direction before you press the egg throw button. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I think I think I see what you're saying. Is there a way to start off 45 degrees? Or you can only aim up. Hey, look, it's the thing that Bunky said. Oh, you have to hit an enemy to receive the prizes. You see? You should be able to do it in any direction. No. You can... You can start from either the top or the bottom, it seems. Am I supposed to hit one of these? What happened? Oh, I hit the thingy. Oh my god, it turned the stars, just like you said. That's still a really good tip, though. It's just that the up alone is really helpful.
They really wanted to add something to give you that sense of urgency so that you would screw up and uh, lose Mario, you know? Oh, shoot. I tried to bank him in there. Gotcha. Wait! Uh-oh. Keep teaching me new things. What the heck? Like, that, it was, was that there before? Like, if I just know where it is, can I go down that too? What the hell's going on now? Oh, that angle. Why is he telling me that again? Oh, it has to tell you again. Okay. Yeah, Mockery, there's like a tutorial thing that tells you about that and you can get like stars that way. Maybe it's not random, maybe it's timing. Wait, what the hell? Like, I just flew away.
You get multiple drums per- yeah, yeah, I saw that, I was like, the Mario cape? Sounds whack. Wait, what? This level is sick? Spoilers. Not a hundred percent, no, the chance said fuck it. Wow! Did you guys see that? That was amazing. Need the key. These are like the star eggs. I gotta hit. The, I gotta hit it anyway. This. Hey, I grabbed the water, watermelon. Whoa! I spit out the seeds. Just like real life. I got a machine gun, guys. Oh, it's gone now. Jeez. Oh, is there ever anything down here? Enhancers? Guys, Yoshi doesn't look so good. His eyes are wide open. So we get to see the game through Miyamoto's eyes. not good, guys. Oh, I need an ammunition to deal with that plant. Oh, we're stuck here. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna get by this guy. Okay. Holy shit. Barely move. Doing a pretty good good job at collecting the mall score. Hey! I'm sobering up. Yeah, it's that FX chip, man. What the heck is this now? Oh shit. Oh, 
Wait, Yoshi can't jump in the water. He can't swim. He's got like barely any fucking arms to swim. Oh my god! Bonus challenge! See what this is about. What is it? Scratch and match. One up chance. Scratch three boxes. Oh no. Scratch on. Three toadies. Scratch what? What am I scratching? Oh no, is it RNG? Oh my god, this is like one of those like gambling scratch tickets you get at the corner store. Oh shit. Oh no! Well, at least I got a life, but my god. How did this game get green light? <laughs> this game actually started a, a series? <gasps> Guys, look, FX chip. Dude, can you imagine this game? This engine running with like Castlevania, how sick that would be? <laughs> yeah, the game literally has drugs and gambling. It's true though. Like, what the hell? That's the one of the parts that had emulation issues was that the when you grab the fuzzies? I would imagine so. Understand e -tron. The whole thing was to get Nintendo was to get these kids going crazy so that still buy Nintendo shit in the future. That way they can resell them $80 controllers. And buy a console without an Ethernet port. Sus this guy is. Wow, he just took it on the head. What the hell? Wait, how did I kill him that time? Did he just take multiple hits or something? What do you mean the $80 controller isn't theirs? What does that mean? Oh, 
shit. What the hell? Uh oh. Oh no, he's in a difficult spot. Come back! Cheeks! Oh, damn. Uh, is there a way I can get more, more shells here? Be teaching kids to break mazes. Who mm. needs a Sega controller? What's this? I never heard about this before. You do in Zelda? Man, that's a good point. <laughs> yes, you do. Doing this wrong. Damn. I don't think I need to go up there anyways. I can just go up there from this side. No, leave me alone. No! Here? Maybe it was up here. Did I pass the door, maybe? in this room. Okay, it's not that one. No! There is no door? There's no door. There's no door. There is no door. I swear I saw a door. Maybe I, maybe I took too many too many fuzzies. Yeah, too many fuzzies. Hold on, I gotta go to the top right section. Oh, I think there was an enemy there on the top right. I want to get into that section here. Oh my god. He takes three hits, that guy.
Whoa! That's odd. Who now? Man, Yoshi's Island is dangerous. I'll take him there in a hurry. Give me your broomstick. I don't know, it's the slime from Dragon Quest. Wait, I lost all my eggs? No. Go away. Ouch. Wow, that boss was so easy compared to the first one. This guy was a bump. You just got unlimited ammo for that one. They should have switched it around. Oh my god. They copied ass and cheeks with that. What the hell is going on? Where are we going? Wait, why am I back here? <gasps> it blew up! You guys know what Y stands for? It stands for Yoshi. <clears throat> they ripped that off from Kingdom Hearts. Correction, Etrod. Kingdom Hearts ripped off... Clockwork Knight for the Sega Saturn, remember? Clockwork Knight is sick. I mean, I wouldn't go that far. What? Look, guys, it's Koopas. Wait, what? changes everything. Guys, now I feel like I'm playing a Mario game again. That's awesome. Become powerful Mario. Oh, beautiful white dash. Oh my god, guys, look! I'm playing as Mario! Oh, this game is so good now. Back uh, to Yoshi. Fuck. I have to catch the stars? I don't... Okay, was I... Okay. Was I supposed to keep running forward? I, I figured I'd have to fly, but he just floats. Keep jumping over it. Let's see here. Keep jumping over it. Jumping over what? Oh, there's a star up here. Is there, like, is there something I'm, I'm missing here? That I'm supposed to fly up or something? Oh, there it is, right here. Down on the floor. I'm supposed to jump over anything. I 
supposed to collect something? To just leave now? I think... Well, this game, like, like, one thing I didn't like about the Kirby game that we just played was that because Kirby's able to fly and all that and do some of these crazy things... Uh-oh, this is bad, right? Because Kirby's able to fly and all that, it really like limits the stage design, and then the kind of the platforming kind of goes out of the window, right? It makes all the enemies and all that kind of like nothing and all that, you know? Oops! Oh my God! Okay, Mario's dead. Yoshi died and Mario died. So this game is like we got a float. Which is not that bad. Like, there's still platforming. But there's just something about playing, like, Mario. I don't know. Same thing when we play the Wario games, you know? But hey, it's something different. And uh, this game, like I said, sold very well. It did very, very successful. To the point where they literally, uh... Started its own, like, series, right? Yeah, we... <laughs> when we played the Virtual Boy, it was interesting. What's up with this guy? Gucci. Hitch a ride. He runs in the direction that Yoshi faces. Oh, wow. Okay, take us back home. No, no, come back here. Like, it's really weird. Like, it just seems like Nintendo games are like... They literally just all sit at a table and, like, they start throwing out ideas they have for what they want in the game. And then instead of discussing what they like the most, they just put it all in the game. Like, it's just all over the place. Like, one guy's like, why don't we have Yoshi the main character? Hey, what if Mario was a baby? Hey, let's have Yoshi shoot out eggs. Let's have him turn into a helicopter. How about we have this pet dog that moves you around? You have tunnel vision hate for Nintendo? What? Hey, how, what do you mean tunnel vision hate? That's not me hating on Nintendo. I'm just talking about the way they design games. Tetris is not a word, Yogs. It's tetride. Educate yourself. Oh, no. Uchiha just wrote a long post here. One second. Hold on, not again. Oh my god, I just almost died again, guys, for the same reason. Oh my god!
The best word dying in a kid's game? Mocker, let me ask you a question. Would a kid's game allow you to get high? Or gamble? No! Oh no, I'm screwed! I'm fudged! I'm coming! I'm coming! Oh, I fucking turned it too sharp! Ah! Anyways. At least we know that, uh, Mockery works for Nintendo now. Wait, is that a nuke? What the hell is going on? Can I sh can I shoot Mario? Jesus! God, that was the sound of the game of demons. Oh, thank God, health. Man, I feel bad for that shy guy. Okay, good. I put him out of his misery. Poor guy was hanging by a balloon for god knows how long. Look at this guy! Wait, what? Wait, what? How am I supposed to get that? Like, one thing I really like about Donkey Kong Country so much is that, at its heart, it's like just a true platformer, right? That just requires, like, reflexes and you're just... It has a lot of mechanics, the barrels and all that, but it's like still, at the end of the day, it's still a platformer, you know? But once you start adding like weird floats and you're shooting things and stuff. Pound the ground to pop balloons. Find the correct one to win. Oh no. Oh, Wait, is he racing me? What the hell was that minigame? Well, whatever. At least we got one flower. The people that make Mario want to expand the lore aside from the whole damsel and distress thing. But Miyamoto usually turns down many splendid ideas. Well, I don't understand. That's not what Mario is about. Mario is not about the, the damsel and distress thing. It's fucking Mario. The dude goes go-karting and he plays tennis and golf and shit. He does whatever he wants. It's Mario. The amount of Mario games at this point already is crazy. The very first Mario game, like Mario Brothers, didn't even have the princess. It was just Mario and Luigi just literally, I don't know, killing monsters in like this tube area. <laughs> Okay, but if, if their goal is to get it away from saving Princess, their solution was to turn Mario into a baby and make the main character Yoshi? That doesn't make any sense, guys. What the hell? These guys got baseball gloves. Guys, baseball, do you guys know that's the national sport for Japan? This guy's got a baseball player. What the hell is going on? Put 
to establish Yoshi as another main character. Yeah, they tried making Luigi a main, main character and Mario's missing, and everyone's like, that game's shit. Who's next? Alright, let's try Yoshi. To be fair, I don't think Nintendo made Mario's missing. Anyways, Mario 64 is an amazing game, and you don't need to save the princess in that one. Pretty sure you're saving the kingdom or some shit. I just knocked that guy out. You're saving the princess? Okay, maybe that game- that's why the game was so damn good, then. Nintendo's just like, fuck it. I'm I mean, yeah, I'm trying to remember the intro. I'm trying to remember it. I barely remember it. It's been a long time since I played 64. We're de dude, we're definitely gonna play Mario 64, like, before Street Fighter 6 comes out. 1000%. There's no way I'm not playing that game. That game is crazy. Crazy good. Definitely one of the greats. Oh no. Go, go, go! <laughs> so, sorry, my brother just dropped a huge apple. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Wait, I don't get it. He's invincible to spikes? Why is he invincible to spikes? Because of the diapers? going crazy. Wait! He caught it! And he tossed it! You guys see that? Wow, he got that one up for me! Thanks, buddy! How are you able to walk on spikes without getting hurt? What now? Freezes them. Oh my god! We killed them just like T1000. Jesus, this game is dark. Uh, Vesper, when you get to Street Fighter EX, will you play all three versions? Or just the PS1 version? Uh, I don't know. You can play uh, all the versions. Doesn't really matter. Like, the main thing I want to do in Street Fighter EX is the trials. That's like the most fun part of the game. The trials are amazing. Shoot, that screen freeze threw me off. Dude, I used to skip school to do the trials. go with that egg. What the heck? Oh! Hey. 
You hate trials? That's why nobody will remember your name you try. What are these mole things? Am I supposed to throw an egg down there or something? No, there's an ice thing. I don't like that scene in the third thing with the screen freeze. Yeah, I lost the ice power. So funny, nothing. Nothing. I I thought today maybe I'm gonna be extra nice today. You know? And I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to that plan. Come on here. Uh oh. I did this one while jumping. Oh, maybe I can bounce it up. Uh oh. Oh! Yeah, I meant to do that. Obviously. I mean, of course. Yeah, the god angle. The hell is that annoying sound? What the hell is this? Go away. Professor, you may enjoy watching speedruns for this game, lots of cool movement tech. Yeah, I'll watch a, like, a 100% run if there's one, then I can see the, the secret levels and stuff, you know? Definitely gonna do that. Professor, if you're gonna insult me, just do it. See, you know your problem with me, Charles? You're always so negative. You know, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything. Playing this game. God, my ears! Oh, 
Take that. Oop, oop. Didn't I just insult each hot last night? I don't think insulting and constructive criticism are the same thing. What was the Dark Ages? Yesterday was the Dark Ages? Yesterday was me getting my ass kicked by Paul for like an hour straight. Like, Paul was literally the hardest... <laughs> the hardest fighter we had, to, we had to fight against in that entire run last night. But don't worry, we're gonna play Tekken again soon. Yeah, Law took a while too. But not nearly as long as Paul. We beat Heihachi really fast. Where are the stars? Where the hell are we? Take that! Well, you can shoot straight up! Nice. Put that guy out of his misery. Up. It just told me what I was supposed to do. Shit. Oh, did I waste it? Uh oh. That's not good. Okay. Wait, why am I going down here? from the starting. Shit, I think I went the other way around. Cool, you can shoot the flower? That's cool. Oh no. Oh, I'll still go through it, I think. Oh, we need some momentum.
So the mini game's random? Wait, what? What's with these all these RNG games? What the hell? Talk about Etron. Street Fighter V has survival mode. <laughs> Fighting games with good galleries filled with art. You know, everything you're mentioning, Etron, are things that I don't give a shit about. Like, the art gallery... That's what Street Fighter Five is done with? I don't know, man, like... Remember, we were just talking about this yesterday, guys. Oh, shit. We were just talking about this shit yesterday, like... This is what I mean when I say that, like, they need talent to find good minigame and, and solo stuff. You know, people aren't gonna be lining up so you can play fucking survival mode. Who gives a shit? Or the art guy. Jesus Christ, just go on Google. Like, what? What next, Etrog? Fucking... The OST? Just saying things like Tekken Bowl or whatever, or some card game or something would be just way more interesting. Okay, this level is fucking weird. Oh, I can eat those girls? Didn't know that. Dude, I'm just like, yeah, the thing is, it's not just those modes, though. It's not enough, you know? Like, uh, when, Ar when Arcade Mode came out for Street Fighter V, people only played it for literally one day, and that was it. People been complaining about that shit for, like, three years. They're like, we need Arcade Mode! And then they play arcade mode for one day, and I was like, all right, that was sick. And then they don't play the game ever again. Yeah, arcade mode was ass because there was just nothing else to it. It was just arcade mode. It was just something that should have been in the game, you know, in the first place. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? I got the key. Where's the key door? Let me backtrack. Maybe the doors are one of these doors. Oh, what? Oh, what? Damn it, dude. I, I did it again, guys. I keep looking at Mario and not Yoshi. It's like so engraved in my brain. <laughs> it's so weird, dude. Okay. Oh, we came from here. Okay, so we didn't need to go this way. That makes more sense. Still need to find the key door. And, and look at survival mode, guys. 
Survival mode? Oh, wait, let me kill these ghosts. Can I kill them? In survival mode, everyone complained, oh, survival mode's too hard, it's too bullshit, it's dumb, you know? Then they fix survival mode and no one plays it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Am I trying to say that Street Fighter fans don't know what the fuck they're talking about? I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is like... These, these normal modes or whatever is not what's going to keep people playing the single player content. Like, like I said, me and Raven talked it to death about what they need. A community, a community based trial mode. How did they fix survival mode? What did they do to it? They made it so that you now can upgrade your character in crazy ways after every fight. So like, you can literally like make it so you can kill the opponent in one super. Like you do extra damage, you can heal. Uh, you can, you can start the match up with bar, like all these weird little things that you would imagine. And I think you can literally make a checkpoint. Can you make a checkpoint, guys? I don't remember. I don't recall if you can make a checkpoint, but we tried it once and it was brainless easy. It was br it was super easy though. So so survival mode is not hard anymore. But anyways, like, back then, like, we played arcade mode and stuff because one of the reasons is why we couldn't do anything else. We didn't have online multiplayer back then. And on top of that, we had to beat the game, like, you know, ten times just to unlock all the characters, you know what I'm saying? We had no choice. <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, there has to- they need to have someone out there that's, like, good at knowing what actually is good, rather than just, like, what people are asking for, you know? Which is the... Which is always, like... You know, the game developer's burden. You know? Sometimes people don't even know what they want. And you can't impress every- or you can't, you know... Yeah, you really can't impress everyone. Someone's gonna be pissed off about something, so... Like, for example, if they released Community Trials, I would be like, This is the best day of my life! And then, you know, then there'd be Eetra, I'd be like, Where's my art gallery? So it just... I don't know. I hope for Street Fighter VI, just, they think of something new, you know? Wait, what was the point of me going through that key door again? I draw from here. Shit. What do we get going through here? So what you're saying is put 10 hidden characters locked behind story. No, what I'm saying is why people played story mode. One of the reasons. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Miker. Like, that goes back to my original point of the game being fun no matter what you do. Or you're earning something no matter what you do. Okay, you know what? Maybe we don't want to activate the stairs? Because then we have access to that. Understanding what the game is going to do now. Okay. Don't 
up. Don't hit that thing. Streets Rage Forest is community leaderboard survival mode and it's random every time. I mean, they could make survival mode way more interesting for sure. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm saying. Like, even though arcade mode is what people ask for, arcade mode still has to be fun. You know, it doesn't automatically make things better. What's going on here? I don't know. But in order. Wait, what? to stand on it probably and wait. No, I wasn't paying attention. Hang on a second. Okay, good. Checkpoint. Thank goodness. But, like I said, in order to make arcade mode good, they need talent. You know? They just need, they need talent, man, to make it fun. Like, once again, an example was in Street Fighter Alpha. They had that world... World Warrior mode or whatever, where you gain special moves and stuff. That's interesting. It might not be interesting enough now, but it was back then. There's Dynamic mode, where you can play with a buddy. You can have, maybe, story forks. You choose your own path and get different... different endings. I don't know. But, like I said, it requires some extra thought. Is this? Oh, this is trippy. Is this supposed to look like this, guys, or is the emulator make it look different? This is insane. Maybe Mario's twin brother. Is it Luigi? Oh no, we're gonna fight a big boo? Uh oh. Not the big boo. Like, if they had a challenge for Street Fighter where it's like, beat arcade mode once per week or whatever, you go and see, you know? At the bank, the shot to get him, anything. He's so big! I think Boo is one of the most clever and coolest Mario enemies ever created. I love Boo. Boo is so cool. The idea of a ghost that's shy when you look at it is just genius. It's such a cool enemy. I, I love Boo. Yeah, I'll be right back.
it's freezing today, Jesus. You know, another thing too about this whole offline thing with the Street Fighter and people not wanting to play online competitively, I think one thing they have to look at is rather than trying to avoid the issue by making more one player modes and stuff, they need to like take the issue head on and just make it more fun to play against people and compete in the first place. That'd be really helpful too. Like when I'm when I'm playing like Halo for example, like I don't just play ranked. It's not the only thing I play. I like to play the other modes too. In fact, I play the other modes more than ranked in general. It doesn't have to be sweaty all the time. Oh my god, I just jumped on him. Wait, can I hop in the cloud? <laughs> I can. Give Street Fighter 6 a free-for-all? Well, okay, like one thing, for example, remember when we did our, our, when we were playing tournament mode, guys? We had so much fun. Tournament mode was super fun. There's people already asking me, yo, why aren't we doing tournament mode anymore, you know? It was hilarious. What the hell? Jesus. Yeah, if, if only if it wasn't super change. So, I don't know. I just hope Capcom doesn't look at tournament mode and be like, eh, no one's playing it. The reason is, is the, the weird, the fucking weird thing is, is Capcom had this very, like, weird, distorted way of looking at tournament mode. The way they looked at tournament mode was literally just, this is only for running actual real tournaments. You know? Which is fucking weird. That they only looked at it that way. Oh shit! He can shoot me! He's got aim skill too. Take that, jerk. Yeah, this guy's jacked on stars. Ah! Yeah, I remember about licking the eggs. Thanks. Like the whole remember like you can't enter turn mode unless it's on like half an hour increments? Like my god. But yeah, just playing tournament mode all day with the stream and stuff would be awesome. It'd be hilarious. Wait, what? Oh, fuck! Oh my god, they stole him! Bad end. Jesus. It's so dark. Oh my god, you have to stomp those to find red coins? Jesus. You don't want to know what's worse than a sore loser? A sore winner. Oh, dude. I agree with that, too. A sore winner is the worst. I hate... I hate people like that, dude. I go nuts. I know exactly what you're talking about. That shit grinds my gears. 
And they'll always pop off on things that are like... I don't know. Whether it's RNG or some baby mode game or something. Hey, you can just lick them. Like, you'll have, like, a guy that's, like... I don't know. He'll, like, lose and just start raging. You know, saying how dumb the game is or... Whatever. Whatever, whatever excuse they make. And then when they win, they teabag the opponent and start popping off. Oh my god, dude. Ugh. That grinds my gears. That grinds my gears. I make it my mission. My mission to beat players like that. Okay, I'm not gonna make the same mistake, guys. We need to get the those things to appear so I can stomp this. Hey, Qua, we're talking about sore winners. Anything to add to that conversation? Come on, Yoshi! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. That was a speedrunning strat. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Like, well, what do you think about that? What do you think about when you play against somebody and you beat them and all they do is whine about how scrubby the game you're playing is? Or how lucky you are and whatever? And then when they finally beat you, they teabag you and start popping off. How do you feel about that? Wait, hold on. What's going on with Paul? It's the only answer. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know about going that far, but uh, it makes you definitely want to beat them in the game. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that on screen. I think I mentioned it once though. Well, I was playing against someone. Somewhere. <laughs> and he was getting hit constantly by cheap shit. And I can tell Qua was getting angry. Because, you know, it was on the stream and shit. And <laughs> I'm watching the turn from the side and then uh then Qua gets this person stunned. And Qua stood still for such a small moment. He stood still and I knew because I was getting angry, I knew exactly what went through his head. I'm like, oh, he was about to T-Bay. He was about to T-Bay, for sure. But then he stopped himself. Koa went through the motions. He went through the pros and cons so quickly. Just processed it, you know? That's good, Koa. That's called the moral compass. It means you're not insane. Yeah, you saw your whole life. You saw your life like 20 years ahead that moment. You know? 
you walking down an alley with your hands in your pockets looking at the ground as an outcast. You know? No friends anymore. <laughs> a giant headline. You made the right choice, Paul. That was good. Really good. Oh, went too far. Yeah, it was like one of those, like, uh, David Cage games, you know? And you were about to choose the, the bad path. But it was real life. Do the best for a spit on Daigo. Why would I do that to Daigo? Dude, you saw what happened when Mena when Mena RDT begged Daigo. Can you imagine if I did the best for spit? It'd be like 50 times worse. When Mena RD T begged Daigo, he has been hated ever since just because of that. And then he made Tokido cry, and that's another story. That's when Capcom had to step in. And erase that character from existence. Manatee Bay's Daigo. Then everyone behind Daigo was like... What was the story behind that Canada Cup where it was like 240p string when you had to sub to get higher res? Oh, dude. To this day, I still don't know if I'm even allowed to talk about that. That will be buried. That story will be buried forever. You probably have to go to the grave with that story. A lot of shit went down. There's only... Hmm. Maybe six people that... that really know what went down. And of course, I'm one of them. There's no way I can tell you that story without, like, throwing people under the bus. It's just impossible. So, I just can't talk about it. In my defense... <laughs> no. Well... No, there's nothing I can say. There's no, there's no way. <laughs> it's, a it's not a conspiracy, it was just... It's 
just a story of incompetence and greed. It's a story of incompetence and greed. That's pretty much it. And a lot of shit went down between... Between, yeah. That was like... There was a lot of shit going down, man. Like, one of the founders of Twitch was there. And it's... I guess it's kind of a, what... It's kind of like what you guys think. It's kind of like combination of everybody's fault. But, yeah. There was just a lot of foolish things that were that done. And, like, dude, that was during a time, too, when, like, streaming... Uh... Was just so... What's the word I'm trying to find? It was so, um... I don't know. Primitive, I guess. It was just, yeah, it was really primitive, and... To say, like, to stream something at, like, 1080p... Dude, people can barely stream 1080p 60 FPS now! Imagine, like, over 10 years ago, you know? And it was just, yeah. No. But I learned some pretty valuable lessons during that. Some pretty damn valuable lessons. To avoid being put in a situation like that ever again. So, there's something. Got something out of it, that's for damn sure. Okay, where am I supposed to go here? We know we want to get... ...to the door. It shows that we want to be up here. Something up here. You know, there was a time about that whole situation where I really didn't give a shit. I was so angry. I didn't care about the consequences of... I was about to, to blow a whole lid on the thing. A whole lid, dude. I was so angry that time. Malding. But if I would have if I would have done that, I wouldn't even think I'd be on Twitch right now. It would have been it would have caused a lot of damage. It would have been huge. But you know, Twitch got bought by Amazon. There's different people behind the scenes now. Yeah, there's the door right here. Is these ice things? Are they any... Let me get up here, guys. Maybe, maybe I'll look where this flower is. Maybe something bounces me all the way up. I think the flower is like right above there. And we can't go anywhere really. It's really trying to figure it, make us find it. Hey! 
Yeah, I would love to tell you guys the story, because you guys would find the story so funny, too. You guys would, would burst out laughing, but there's like, oh my god, dude, so much bad shit. Like, really, really scumbag shit. Like, it's bad. Like, putting my name on that was such a, oh, such a bad idea. Write a book? The hidden truth? Oh, it doesn't matter now. No one even remembers about that shit anymore. And even the people that do don't know- don't really know what went down anyway, so it doesn't matter. It is what it is. I think everyone kind of landed on their feet afterwards anyways. Everyone... Yeah, everyone kind of landed on their feet after. Pretty sure. I don't think anyone got truly screwed over, screwed over after. Pretty sure. Can I move this? What about these guys in here? They're the ones just moving this thing. That pushes me up there. Maybe there's something I'm missing up here? Well, there's two things here to knock down. Oh, I see. That's pretty clever. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Screwed up. Can you shoot me back up? Back up. Nice. Wait, how do I get this? What do these numbers mean? What the hell? There's a hidden flower there. Oh, they just blow up. Okay. Wait, did I ever find that door with the damn keyhole? So running around with this key the whole time. No! <laughs> found the door, but you didn't open it once you figure out how to shoot down the jump pads. Was it on my left or something? I just forgot about it? That level was tough. You have to really, like, pay attention to that level. Oh, look! It's like a Santa shy guy. Whoa, huge egg! What the hell is the point of that? This game just gets weirder and weirder. Wait, why did I get the swimming sound? 
Oops, I forgot to hit that Athena. Uh -oh. Yo, what's up, Mason? Yeah, I screwed up. I forgot. I forgot to use the key in the first place. I thought I needed the key to actually continue the level, but I did not. Whoa! It just hits everything on the screen. Hey, that's cool. Anyways, we're just checking out this game. It's super weird, super different. We're talking about random shit today. We're talking about the uh, more single player stuff in fighting games. So many big eggs. Plays like Final Fight? That'd be cool. Ono would love that idea since Ono loves Final Fight so much. Uh, well, if the game has a, a team mechanic, right, like the, like the gossip we got before, then it can give a lot of room for single-player content. Uh, do I have to go for this, too? Wait, what? Uh-oh. What, you know, whatever they do, I, I just hope their idea is let's get all of this ready to go for the game launches, you know? Prioritize on that. Because, the, you know, them delaying the game for what seems like because of a gameplay issue is one thing, but them not making sure they're not, they don't, hopefully doesn't put them so behind the, you know what I mean? They have to cut corners, which is cool. It'll be like Street Fighter 5 all over again, you know? They won't make that mistake again? Well... Uh... It's how they got put there in the first place, right? That's what's really important. And now there's different... There's a different producer, things are going to be really different in general, and the choices on how the financials are spent and shit. Wait, is there something over here on the left side? It's 
weird why it would give me access to this ledge. Fuck it. I'm taking a leap of faith. Oh, wait, never mind. You can't even go there. What the hell is the point of that? I'm just playing the war zone. Most recent fighting game efforts have been, so I don't know why I have faith. Well, they all have their different story. Street Fighter Cross Tekken, same producer. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, that was Capcom US. Street Fighter V, same producer. They all have their own different stories. Like, Street Fighter V, once again, is that... They got really put behind because that they tried making it look realistic or whatever. Are you my good driver? Nope. Uh-oh. God. What am I turning into a fucking car? Oh god. Oh wait, what? The shit? I think I was supposed to jump there. Yeah, what's up here? They put my car in a video game? Yeah, the Mr. Bean car. The thing is, he's like, basically what I'm trying to say, Heyman, is that, like, you can't look at Capcom as, like, a single entity, as this, like, person with a badge that says Capcom on it, you know? There are successful Capcom games, and there's games, Capcom games that have failed. And it's important to know specifically and and distinguish them. For example, Monster Hunter is just bumping. And if you want to get even more specific, Resident Evil 2 did really well, but Resident Evil 3 got a lot of flack. And it's important to know why, and you can't just say, you know, Capcom. Wait, what did I get for this? Full. Full what? Do I get full shells for the next thing? Plus, look at the people running Street Fighter 5 now. With all the effort they put into 5, I have more confidence in 6 now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of that was like... Look, man. When you... Get rid of the producer. Well, sorry, they didn't get rid of him. When the producer leaves the company, it it makes people nervous. It makes uh, you know, <laughs> investors nervous. It makes everyone nervous, right? So they need to bounce back hard, and that was one of their missions, obviously. And I think they did a good job restoring faith. Like I said, I'm 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 sure Street Fighter 6 will not repeat the same mistakes, but and I'm you know confident with it. But if they do screw up, it'll be in a totally different way. <laughs> it'll be something we haven't thought about. Something. It could just be because the game sucks. We don't know, right? They might be able to hit every note, you know, the net code's perfect. The modes are perfect. Everything is on point. Cross-play, everything we want. Tutorial mode, everything. But the game just sucks. You know, the gameplay just sucks. It's, it's very possible. 
There's, uh, there's no guarantee. They have to take, you know, like I said, nothing is for certain. They take a chance with everything. Look at Luke. You know, they took a chance with Luke. They don't know how people are going to react to that shit. Oh, whoops. No, that kills me! But Mario's okay. It's just Yoshi. It's just Yoshi, man. There's more than one Yoshi, it's fine. This is war. Oh, Freedom, you like BMC Devil May Cry? You gotta be careful saying that, man. Quas in this chat. Not in a million. Didn't Capcom didn't make DMC DMC so they didn't have anything to do with them? Wait, what are you guys talking about? I missed something. That was during the time when Capcom was like uh they went through a phase where they tried outsourcing everything. Right? And uh it didn't work out so well because they had a, a bunch of duds in a row. It was like Dead Rising 4, DMC, and there was another game. I don't remember what it was. There was like, they were literally revealing their financial plans one quarter, or one year, sorry, and then they literally like, they were literally targeting getting games out in a two, in a bi-yearly speed. Like they were literally, they outright were basically saying quantity over quality. And that outsourcing was one of the ways they were able to achieve that goal. Damn, we get a key. Oops. Once again, I looked at Mario instead of Yoshi. Yeah, the Bionic Commando game, that was made by a game called Grin? Grin Entertainment or some shit? I think they went under after that. That was that was during a time where they really tried to outsource everything. Angry flower? <gasps> he got his head stuck in the sand. That's dark. the teamwork from these shy guys. Oh, there we go. There's a key. You can burst the ball with your tongue. Thanks for reminding me.
You know, with all the bad things that happened with Street Fighter V at the beginning, it, the game still was successful. So I guess there's that. And there are certain games that... And just because it's Street Fighter doesn't mean it's invincible. Right? Because Street Fighter Cross Tekken failed, so... Can we make that many Chun Li costumes? <laughs> true, true. Sakura's got a lot of costumes too. I think Jerry's got more costumes than Chun Li now. Fuck. Uh, no, Street Fighter Five is six million copies. Pretty sure Event Hop has posted a thing on that lately. But it's like, I don't know, that, like that number just doesn't mean anything, like... Um... Because of, you know, the, the sales of the game dropping and whatever, right? Like what really matters is just seeing how many people are playing online, you know? Just looking at the player total, that's the only thing that really matters. See what Mir is saying. Oh, watch out, these spikes hurt. Um. So what's what's Mir confused about? Just. Yeah, Street Fighter V sold more than Street Fighter II now. But I mean... It's kind of odd to, to compare the games that way. We're talking about an arcade machine. Or console copies, and we're talking about a game that's... That's been out for, you know, six years. That's a million copies a year. Yeah, I heard so I was like top 10 or something. Yeah, Street Fighter is big. Wait, I can't go down this too? Do I have to go up here maybe? Whoa! What? Come on, that's unfair. What the hell? This area is cancer. I like the game so far. It's okay. There's nothing I like hate about it. I don't like it as much as like Super Mario World One, because you don't get to play as Mario. But it's 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 okay. Like there's nothing I don't like about it. Like I mean, I like it more than Kirby. You know, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to this right after Donkey Kong Country 2, which I think is like just a masterpiece. Shit. Damn! This area is really tough. I need to at least kill one of these guys. They're, they're being kind of too tough. God, there's like three of them here. God, if I keep getting hit, I gotta, I gotta knock over this vase. Like the, the like I said, the, the NES Kirby game was really good. Really, really good.
Another thing too, guys, like sales of games, like you gotta think about how um, accessible, is that the right word? Accessible in terms of how easy it is to buy games these days. Like for when I'm, when I, for example, like back, back in the day, we didn't have a digital store. You know, I couldn't just go online and get my games that I wanna buy. I had to actually go down to the store, you know? Shit like that really affects like the sales numbers on games. Oh my god, clutch. Uh, not to mention that the gaming market is huge. It's bigger than it's ever been. The games were big, but they're never this big. But like I said, if you think Street Fighter didn't make Capcom a lot of money, Street Fighter V, like, there's people out there that are saying, like, oh, their sales are worse than Tekken 7 or DBZ or blah, 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 right? They're not putting into account the other the other money that they made on Street Fighter V. The DLC alone probably brought Capcom more cash than the sales, you know? And then people that spend money on the new characters. So they made a lot of money, man. I don't know if they made money from the tournaments, though. Depends. But Capcom was able to put up a lot of cash for the tournaments, right? 250 quarter, quarter million dollars, you know? Nothing to sneeze at. It's a big deal for fighting games, man. It's huge. I gotta fight the plant? Oh, wait, no. It's not a plant. Oh, no. What is it? It's like a genie. Oh my god! He just knocked my ass off the ledge! It's a bomb? What the hell was that? It was like a... What's that thing called? Oh, I forgot the word. But it's like a genie. I can't go close. Yeah, something like that, Uchi, huh? Okay, let's see. Try and hit. Uh -oh. hit the pot? So maybe I have to hit the flowers. Maybe the bank it? Oh no! Oh shoot. Okay, we're out of ammo. Ah! Did you just pull the he doesn't know shit, Mega Guy? Dude, that's offensive. Dude, that's offensive, bro. Mir, did you just say chemtrails in the fucking chat? What is wrong with you guys? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Jesus. Okay, why, why did the fire go that way? Still need to know where his weak point is. And now I need to know how do I get more shells here. I gotta be a way to get to the other side. There has to be. Oh. Oh. 
Oh god, no. I think when he's blowing the fire, I can jump to the other side. Oh, I just bounce off his belly. No! Oh my god, dude. What is this boss? How do I get this phase down here? That's weird. Who was spoiling me? Did you beat their ass? Shot them in the shoe as a warning shot. him and maybe jump on him or something? I want to grab the shy guy. Oh, I can move him! Pushing it back, that little bastard! Oh! Oh! Uh, why were you hating on the N64 controller? I thought it was ugly, but really comfortable. I mean, the Z button, but like, you got this, like, the yellow C buttons, like, what the hell is the point of that? They literally made buttons for a camera. Y you know what? The, the weird part about the N64 controller is that controller was specifically made for Mario 64. Like, you guys realize that, right? That entire controller is for M6, like, it's like, it's like as if it... It was something just for the game and not for the console. It's fucking weird. C buttons for the ocarina. It just, it doesn't make sense why the face buttons have to be different sizes like that. N64 controller is not one of the worst controllers. Definitely not one of the worst. But Nintendo already created two good controllers at that point. The NES and the Super Nintendo controller. Both great controllers. The Super Nintendo controller is an evolution of the NES controller. And the PlayStation controller is an evolution of the Super Nintendo controller. And it makes perfect sense too because when Sony and tried to break a deal with, Nint or with, with Nintendo and share a console together, they probably had that prototype controller by then. That's probably why the controller is like that. But then, like, I don't know, Nintendo went crazy. And they were like, we're gonna make our own controller! It's like they're, they're trying too hard or something, it's weird. But Nintendo hasn't made a good controller ever since. All their controllers have been shit. 64, GameCube, Wii Remote, Wii U. 
whatever else they have, that steering wheel monstrosity, all shit. a cool boss because uh it's not about the eggs anymore wait he looks so worried oh they're both helping he's pushing boss off the cliff Look how worried he is! <laughs> He's like, uh oh. Okay, that was a good boss. That was a cool boss. I like that. You guys don't remember all those old clips of people throwing their Wii modes through TVs and shit? That was hardcore. Good times. Man, 28, what level was that? And we feel it hard. I do, those people were dumb. It was always like during the bowling game. You guys notice that? It was always the bowling game that happened. You guys want to play some Final Fantasy now? It, did I save the game? This is as far as you got, Bunky, before you flush this game? Okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm saving, if the game is saved or not. I mean, I have sands. Yeah, we did make good progress. Is this where we left off? the first level. I know we just beat the castle. This game's got good, like, wake-up morning music. It's like the wake-up, you know, brush your teeth, Drink orange juice kind of music. What the hell? I really don't know about Yoshi, like, eating monkeys. I don't know. This game is dark. Oh, 
Why is shooting watermelons at me? So far, how does this game rate? 1 out of 10? Oh, it's okay so far. There's nothing bad about it. But it's just not my kind of platform, that's all. I'm more of a, a purist, so to speak. None of this floaty shit. Music's good. Graphics are impressive. The variety in stage design is cool. Like I said, there's no big flaws with this game. It's just that the game is not my style, I guess. It's got collectibles. There's some challenge to it. No, I wouldn't say it's bland. That's not bland. There's a lot of things you can do in this game. I think it's just not my kind of platform. Oh, no. Like, even when you're playing, like... I think I, did I talk about this yesterday? But Mario 64. Like, you have all these moves. Like, you have, like... Triple jump. You have, uh, the super jump. And, like, there's a sideways jump, I think, too, or something, right? You have, like, all these crazy, like, movement abilities in Mario 64, but at its heart, it's just straight up raw platform. Like, think about the amount of times you have to jump from a platform to a platform in Mario 64. It's all over the place. That's what makes the speedrun so challenging. But... When you give your character a, a, a Kirby fly, or a, a float, like this, and you start to be able to shoot enemies, and eat them and stuff like that, uh, I'm, we're missing out more on what I what I find really fun for platformers, I guess. I don't know. What about Mario and Tanuki suit? Like, all I can say is that I like Super Mario World 1 more. But I don't really like to compare games that much. This game looks like they took a lot of work making it. Three, four years. I'm sure there's, there's people that prefer this game over Mar Super Mario World 1, though. Because people love Yoshi. And different is fine. Different... It's always, like, one thing about... Well, this is, like, peak Nintendo, you know? Where Nintendo is, like... They're willing to always try something different, you know? With Super Mario World, with Donkey Kong Country, with... I mean, even though it's rare, but... Miyamoto did oversee that. They're always willing to try something new. Oh, shit. I figured I could jump on it. <laughs> Some crafty lunches. <laughs> you bitch. People love Yoshi. I'm telling you, they do. That's gotta be a red coin. It just screams red coin. Oh, what the hell?
Well, like I said, this game was very successful, and it's and it's not. It started a new series. Start a new series, man. Joel and Mac is better. Whoa, no. This game shits on Joel and Mac. Actually, every game shits on Joel and Mac. That series is trash. I used to love Joe and Mac until I played it recently. When I was a kid, I used to love that game. But now, as an adult, when you play it, you see the flaws, and you see them immediately. I think Hua hates Joe and Mac more than I do. He's like traumatized from that team attack bullshit. Still like Joe and Mac. If I had to choose a Joe and Mac, the best one by far is, is the original Joe and Mac for Super Nintendo. If I had to choose, it's the only like closest competent one. Oh, I got a key. Wait, did I eat the key? Oh, I still have it. Okay. What happened? Why did the game freeze there? Why is that guy giving me free eggs? Oh, I'm out of eggs. Can I eat you? Nope. What the hell? Only only three lives that get you lose your lives on continue? What is this? Where's my insurance? Little Kirby's. Like, Joe and Mac had really good, like, art. And it's a, it's a funny setting, too. It's, it's, char it's a charming game. But, the game is just straight up cheeks. The gameplay itself is terrible. The art in this game is amazing, look at the background. Oh hell yeah, it's amazing. Not only is the artwork really good, I mean, I'm not a fan of this artwork, but I know it's really good. But, uh... You also have the FX chip in this game, right? Which just takes it to the next level. I got awesome dino bosses. Yeah, there's some cool bosses. Not cool when you play the game on hard, though. It's not cool at all. Let me skip that section. Let me hit this. Is this a thingy? Oh my god! Oh, 
Oh, those are all red coins? That's cheap. Is Street Fighter 6 coming next year? No. Next, next year. Beginning of 2023. Street Fighter always comes out quarter one. Always. Where am I going here? Let's go, what's over here? Oh, that's over here. What? We have to go here. They'll probably reveal it in the summer of 21. You mean the summer of 22? No, that's too late. They'll usually announce it by a year before it's released, right? Especially with the beta test and stuff, so it'll probably be around sometime after Christmas. I think Street Fighter V was revealed in February? Then it came out February. Yeah, randomly on YouTube slash Twitter, exactly. surrounded. Plot twist, the new Capcom fighting game is a fighting, final fight tag fighting game. Plot twist, they call the game Street Fighter. And make it an algorithm nightmare for me on YouTube. Street Fighter the final fight? Oh, yeah. The king of Street Fighter. Where is the key door? Why are these guys dancing? Like that. My coin! Oh. I never found that damn key door. Jesus Christ! The game is rigged. I watched a little bit of a speed run in this game, like a 100% speed run, on just, you know, the first world, and my goodness, the speed runs in this game are insane. They're, like, phenomenal. Like, just absolutely insane skill. It's, they, like, like, the positioning and shooting eggs to grab the items and stuff is just, my goodness. Yeah, this game is like insane high skill gap speedrunning game. Like this is uh, one of the the boys to men. This ain't no baby speedrun game. Oh no, it's this guy again. Take that! Go away. Oh. 
By the way guys, 95, that's when we begin our Bullet Hell Saga. We're actually gonna play some Bullet Hell Schmuss, so... Hey, what's up, Scorn? You getting those Christmas uh, rewards in Halo, Scorn? I haven't started yet. I mean, I got the daily, but... I need to pick a day here and go ham. Usually we play Halo on, uh, on Tuesdays. Oh yeah, you're playing these nuts. Yo, what's up, Luca? I thought you hate shmups? Oh. I hate shmups. You got that right, but... I haven't played Bullet Hell before, so maybe I might like that, right? I'll have to try it. You never know. Hey, turn into a star. What do I hate more, shmups or mechs? Uh, probably mechs. Mechs are just lame. Most shmups have mechs. Yes, it's, uh, I'm not surprised at the coincidence. Just like when I found the director of Final Fantasy 2 is also in Final Fantasy 12. So just letting you guys know, uh... Oh, can I go down here? Maybe you get a mole transformation somewhere? There's something behind one of these trees. Looks like you do. Anyways, I'm gonna have my, uh... Family didn't make Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve this year. So Friday for sure I won't be streaming. I'll be out. I actually have to leave the house for once. So just giving you guys a heads up, no stream on Friday. But I hope you guys have an, an awesome Christmas Eve. Yeah, there's a helicopter thing here. Oh maybe you don't want to hit that. Shoot. Yeah, but on Christmas Day, I'm not doing anything, so we probably will be streaming on Christmas Day. I mean, I don't want to make any promises, but that's the current- the plan is to stream on Christmas Day. And, uh, have an idea for a special Christmas game. We'll just call it a, uh, a mystery game. But I was inspired by Nightmare. He gave me an awesome idea. So if you guys are around Christmas Day, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Hopefully for some laughs. Hmm, there is the helicopter. I wasn't able to go under the water. Wait, I can get hit? There's a tube here. Christmas Day, especially at night. Yeah, yeah, I'll be streaming around the usual time. Oh yeah, we already went to that door, didn't we? This game is like, has some pretty interesting puzzles. Okay, let's check this door again. Am 
There's just three guys here. Curious. Yo, what's up, sword? Am I working on Christmas? I quit my job, guys. I'm not working ever again. I got a whole story behind that, too. About me quitting my job. It's a pretty funny story, but... Like I said, I'll tell you guys about my job and everything once I move in March. I was- I mean, I wasn't working much anyways. Like, I was- This- this last year, I just only been working on Saturdays. So it wasn't like I was working much to begin with, but this- this now I'm finally done done. Isn't Vesper a mercenary on the side? Lumberjack, when you guys said I was a male stripper. I don't know how the fuck you guys got to that. But maybe I have to get the plane and go down there. I don't know. Let's grab this plane. Oh yeah, we gotta reset the thing. Maybe that's what the door is for? The door is for resetting it to get the plane? Maybe that's some big brain shit. A male stripper dressed as a lumberjack? Yeah, that would work. You guys did some whack ass Photoshop of me as like a firefighter male stripper. You guys called me like Magic Mike or some shit. I forgot what it was. Some weird ass shit. You hope all is good after this? What do you mean? Like, with my life or my work? Hey, it's a submarine, guys. Yoshi literally swims. I can't dive? Maybe if I jump and slam down with this? Control the missile. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. For the Hollywood Street Fighter 6 drop? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean... Like I was telling you guys before, I'm like pretty... Pretty content with uh, how things are right now. Like, if, let's say there was no Street Fighter 6 at all, and like, this is it, this is like, as far as I go, uh, I'd still be fine. You guys have supported me enough that I'm, I'm literally fine. I can get away with this retro, retro stream. There wouldn't be much growth, but I can still get away. But it's not enough to, like, retire. Definitely not enough to retire. After Street Fighter 6, I can definitely retire. That's the plan. You know, I'm not gonna be like... I have very low expenses, and I've... I have no insane vices. 
or any debt or anything like that, so everything is just spending money for me. And most of the gaming I do is like free to play games and stuff like it's not like I have like a Warhammer collection or some shit. Or some crippling gambling addiction. I don't smoke, I don't drink. I don't drive. I don't have a family. I don't go outside. Like I just literally have nothing. Like what do I need? My life is depressing? What the fuck? No, haven't you ever watched Blood Diamond before? Guys, have you watched Blood Diamond before? Remember when DiCaprio was talking to his, uh, that dude? And the dude's like, what does he say? He's like, he asks him what he's gonna do after he gets the diamond. He's like, he asks him, does he have a family? He says, no. What is Blood Diamond? Oh, it's a really good movie. You should watch it. It's an amazing movie. I love it. I've, I watch it so many times. Mostly because of DiCaprio, but still. Really good movie. Is there a red coin at the end of this? Those cheeky bastards. You guys should definitely watch it. It's definitely worth watching. Okay, how do I... Hold on, I gotta kill this guy. Anyways, uh, he was like, they're having a conversation, because, like, because he's the, man, I forgot his name, what the hell is his name? Anyways, without, like, spoiling the movie or anything, like, the dude's from, he's from, uh, they're both, like, stuck in, like, Africa, and DiCaprio's trying to get out. He's, like, a mercenary, he's stuck there, you know? And there's so much, like, you know, war going on, and everyone's poor and shit, and, and they're, they're trying to get this this insane blood diamond that's, like, an insanely huge blood diamond that'd be worth, like, anything, right? And his one, his one dude knows where it is, basically. Oh, shit, can I still finish level? And they get into this conversation because they're trying to, like, get to know each other. And he, like, asks... DiCaprio, if he has a family, and he says no. And then he asks him why, and he says, you know, I don't know. And then he's like, well, if you get the blood diamond, you know, if you get the diamond, will you be rich? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, so you can have anything you want. And he's like, yes. And he's like, so then you're going to have a family. And he's like, no. And he's like, just so confused by it. Because with him and his culture, you know, having a family and starting a family, you know, and is like, you know, the most important thing, right? But some people, it's uh, it's not important. Vin Diesel's people. What the hell? That would be my whole family. I want everyone to have a family. Yeah. Like, there's some- there's some- there's some people that, like... There's some people where, like, when they have a fam- Oh, was I supposed to memorize it? Uh-oh. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Now we're screwed. Damn it! I thought it was just, like, the- the, the scratch! Oh, we're screwed. Oh! I know where that one is! Give me another chance! Damn it. It's kind of similar to the one from Mario 3, but you, it shows you first. Anyway, I'm not good on those memory games anyways. There are some families that are like... They... they uh, they just want to keep- they want their family to be as big as possible. Like, they don't care how many kids they have. 
It doesn't matter if they'll be able to afford it or support it or whatever. They'll just keep having kids just because they want like the biggest family possible. It's just that's just the way it is, you know. I, uh, many years ago, uh, at my work, I, I met this, uh, I used to work with this professional golfer. He was, like, a, a pro golfer that, like, was semi-retired, but he, like, you know, he was, like, he knew all the, you know, the top, like, most of the people in my city, and, you know, I had a lot of cool conversations with this guy. And, uh... He, he lived, a, like, a life of just, like, similar to mine, you know? And he was, like, he was, like, a professional at what he did. Like, you know, even though it's golf, I could somehow relate to, to the fact that, like, you know, he's competitive, you know? And, uh, I don't know. It was, it's hard to explain, but the guy was, like, now that I look back on it, he was kind of, like, a, a, a small role model to me. Cause he was like, he, like I was at the stage in my life where I'm like, just kind of starting my life. You know, I'm like in my, my early twenties, and he was like, you know, getting close to his like forties. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, midway through his life. You know, and I was just, I don't know. But I had a lot of cool conversations with that guy, and like, I don't know. He was a, a cool friend of mine. No, I don't I don't I never told you about this guy, Zach. I did? No, he was he was much older. Like I said, he was pretty much in retirement. I tried to like move in the... Like, he lived in this really nice apartment building and he gave me a hookup to like a spot to move in there. I wanted to move in there so badly. It was it was a really nice place, but uh, my roommate at the time wasn't old enough. They didn't trust him. He was like, my roommate was like only like 20 years old at the time, and I was like 23 or something. But even then, I was a little too young for what they wanted. But I didn't, like, but then my my buddy put in a good word for me. But they wouldn't let my other roommate come in. Pretty sure my life would be a little different if I if that worked out. What's the point of this room? Holy, these guys take hits. I can't kill this guy. I only have one egg left. I definitely can't kill him now. I know I can throw eggs to free Baby Mario. Yeah, I should do that a little bit more. I usually just try to jump and, you know, do the lick. Okay, the game is giving me eggs here, so it really wants me to probably kill those two crab guys. Yo, what's up, Hennessy? Yeah. 
Wait, the new the new Matrix movie is already out. Guys, like, holy shit, man. No one will stop talking about fucking Spider-Man. It's crazy how popular Spider-Man is. Like, I, it blows my mind away. I'm not saying Spider-Man sucks. I don't have an interest in it like other people do, but holy shit, man. Everyone's talking about it. It's crazy. Spoilers get shot. <laughs> Sonic was like posting semi spoilers in the Twitter. <laughs> and you got shit for it. Wait, I just got a flower for that? That's it? Okay, well, okay, that door. Is there was nothing. So there's only this other door. Maybe I kill the fish? Don't jump. Spider-Man and Batman are the two most popular superheroes. I think you're right, Warren. Like, Spider-Man is insanely popular, man. Like, I kind of knew that, but I didn't know it, like, that much, you know? Like, man. So that Spider-Man franchise literally keeps Sony alive. See, I, I see a door up here, guys. There's no, like, holes to bank an egg. I think we're just gonna go back. This is an odd room, though. This area is really sus. Oh, that hurts me too? Shoot. Hmm, the egg only drops Mario, guys. It doesn't, uh... Pop the bubble. What's up with this? What's up with this bucket? I can't cross the water otherwise? I just put it in a loop. Man, this area is weird. Hopefully that bucket has nothing to do with a key or something. It's going for me. This, this area looks like tough to 100%. What the heck? It's almost like I, like I need the bucket for this area too. I got a hundred hand slap.
X-Men when it came out. It was really weird when X-Men first came out. I don't know, I think my favorite superhero movie is probably, probably Blade. I think that movie is just too sick. I love Blade because it does such a good job of like, getting right into it right away, you know? Like, there's no kind of, like, origin story to Blade, you're just- the movie just gets started and there's Blade, and he's already, like... Blade, you know? Yeah, Snipes is godlike, dude. Snipes is godlike. And Deacon Frost is godlike, too. That's why I love Batman 89. Oh, Ke yeah, Keaton Batman? Uh, Constantine is pretty good, too. I think Keanu Reeves... I don't, like, read the comments or anything, but... I think Keanu Reeves was a good cast for that. The only problem with Constantine is, like, that world is, like, really big. For one movie, you know? Wait, I have to fight a frog? Oh, I got shrunk instead of him getting bigger. Did I just die? What the hell? I'm on a frog's belly. Okay, this game is getting really weird now. Wait, did the frog just eat a shy guy? I don't want to get hit by the stomach acid. I really like the, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, Watchmen. A lot of people, some people don't like that movie though, but I, I liked it. I'm sure it would have been, I'm sure it would have been, uh, more popular if it came out more recently. Speaking of Blade, did you play Blaze 1 on PS1? I don't know what that is. Blade 1 on PS1? No. The Daredevil TV show? I watched season 1 and 2. But to be honest with you guys, I don't remember that show at all. <laughs> uh, but I thought it was good. It's just been so long since I've watched it. Did you ever watch the Watchmen show on HBO? No, I'm, I'm supposed to. My friend Zach keeps reminding me, but I keep forgetting. I'm, I'm gonna... I, I'm actually free to watch another TV show right now. I, uh... I just finished watching The Wire again for like the millionth time. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start catching up on some movies and, uh... Maybe watch 
and watch that. Either that, either that or I need to finish up, uh... Uh, the, that third season of Westworld. I've cried so many times to finish it. I'll try again. Yeah, I need to watch Arcane. I know, I need to watch Arcane. But Arcane is like something I'm like... Has to be the perfect moment where I can binge it. I don't want to like just watch that half-assed because I know it's supposed to be good. Like I need to like... I need to like reset up my 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 big screen TV and stuff for that because we after I went on my you know garbage spree and started throwing out everything out I have to reset up my computer to my TV again. You you didn't like the Watchmen show? The show is better than the movie. Yeah, I don't know, I'll check it out. Either way, I'll check it out. <laughs> you know, I I actually watched like one of my first uh, watched a movie finally uh, this morning. Well, last night. We'll just say last night. Like I said, I just finished watching a TV show, and I finally watched uh, Joker. That's how behind I am on movies right now. No, I did not watch Arcane yet. Arcane is like at the top, is on the top of my list, but. I'm not gonna watch it until, like, like I said, until it's perfect. Until nothing's, like, going on and I gotta set up my TV and shit again. Uh, I think it's too early to, like, talk about anything, you know, joke-related, because I think that movie came out in... 2019? Some shit like that? 2019, maybe? I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> honestly, I didn't really like it. Uh... thought it was a little too... Well, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but... There was nothing wrong with it on a technical level. I fucking hate Walking Phoenix, by the way. But, uh... I think he's an amazing actor. Like, the acting was really good. <laughs> we were watching, uh, oh my god, dude. We were watching in the Discord, we were watching Gladiator together recently. And that movie is one of the reasons why I fucking hate Walking Phoenix so much, dude. Holy shit, he's such a bitch in that movie, dude. Oh my god. This fucking, oh my god, dude. That character just pisses me off so much, dude. He's such a bitch in that movie. Like, kind of like, you know how, like, uh, when Troy came out, and everyone, okay, remember, uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and, 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 uh, and Lord of the Rings? Everyone loved Orlando Bloom, right? Like, everyone loved him. And then as soon as Troy came out, everyone fucking hated him. Because he was such a bitch in Troy, dude. He was the biggest weasel ever. Dude, that guy caused, like, one of the most... Like, the, one of the biggest wars over the most stupidest shit. And he was a wuss, you know? And his brother did so much for him, dude. And it just... Oh my god, that character pisses me off, you know? Like, he... He got so many people killed and it just pisses me off. Everyone hated Orlando Bloom after that, dude. People... Like, people just like... I don't know. I just remember, like, everyone hated him after that shit. So that's why, like, when, after when I watch Gladiator, like, Walking Phoenix does such a good job as, as that role. I just... When I see Walking Phoenix, I just... That's what I think of. I think of that fucking character from Gladiator. Oh my god, dude.
And that whole, like, you know, Oscar shit with the, with the milk and all that, I mean, that didn't help. It didn't help me like him more. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I just didn't, I just, I tried to like it. I tried to like, uh, Joker, I really did. But, uh, I don't know. I just thought it was too... I don't know, I just thought it was boring, I guess, I don't know. But on a technical level, the movie was, was good. On a technical level, it was fine. There was nothing, like, bad about it. You guys ever watch, uh... Taxi Driver before? I know it's, a uh, Actual Kino. Like, no cap actual kinography. There's a lot of references that I noticed from Joker in that movie. You can tell they obviously, like, took a look at it. And I think maybe that hurt it a bit. Maybe that's why? I don't know. Like, if you guys have never seen Taxi Driver, I, I don't know if you guys could watch that movie now. It's really old. Like, it's one of the kinos, you know? Like, if you can watch, like, the old shit, like, you know, Citizen Kane and Schindler's List and, you know, that kind of shit. Then you can you can you can you can watch Taxi Driver, but it's it's good. Like they had De Niro in it too, which is also which was also another reference, you know? Like De Niro was in Joker and he was in Yeah, it was Robert De Niro. Really young that movie. Like super young. But like like I said, it's just kinda like I don't know. I, I feel like... I guess this is kind of harsh, but... I feel like if Joker wasn't called Joker, like if it had if nothing to do with Joker, and it was his own movie, I don't, I don't think anyone would give a shit about that movie. Like, I feel like it was completely carried by the fact that it's Joker and everyone loves Joker. Because Joker is such a cool character, you know? But I don't know. Like, that's just my opinion. I know that's an unpopular opinion. Yeah, I haven't I haven't watched Kingdom of Comedy, but I know the references, especially like the red suit and shit. That's another movie it was strongly based on. Like I, I read some interviews and shit. Like uh, uh, what's it called? Like the director and writer was like, Joaquin Phoenix was like the main desire for the role before the movie even started production. Like it was it was do or die. It was gonna be walking like that's how how they envisioned envisioned it, right? Because like apparently the DC studio like they dude they wanted DiCaprio to play fucking Joker. Dude. DiCaprio, man. Jesus. Dude, I love DiCaprio, but fuck that. Joker, are you fucking kidding me? Fire melon. Can I hit these guys? You think the origin story for Joker is a stupid one in the first place? I mean, the character's supposed to be mysterious, right? I mean, they've done an origin story on Joker before with those comics, uh, Killing Joke or whatever. My my friend actually gave I ha I own those comics. My friend gave it to me. To read, and I don't know. It was pretty popular. There was, there was a way to do it. I was talking to Amir about it too this morning. Cause I was like, man, I really wanted to like this movie, but but uh, you know, the movie has like a message too. You know.
Where are we going? Where am I going? Do I hold right? Oh, I'm trying to climb up. How do I get him to face... Oh, maybe I go from that way? Let's try this again. I just go up, go up this way. No, he doesn't even do it. Huh. Oh, there we go. I don't know, the controls are very odd. Yeah, let's try this again. for that. I got a flower? Oh, I didn't even notice. I haven't watched the, the Tim Burton Batman movies in a while now. When we were, you know, it's funny, when we were playing those old NES and Super Nintendo games, I'm like, I was like, man, I should watch these movies again. Right, because they're all, all the Tim Burton movies, you know? I wonder if I'll find it bulky now or not, I don't know. But, uh, I don't know, man. He was pretty good. Jack Nicholson, obviously, is really good. I think they've done a good job casting Joker in pretty much every Batman movie. Maybe, ex maybe except for uh, <laughs> Jared Leto, but I don't know. <laughs> DeVito as Penguin Returns was perfect. They did some really good casting. Those are tough ass roles, man. some fucking hard-ass rolls. Nicholson, he kind of gets extra props, though, because he kind of, like, started it, you know? Like, his interpretation of the Joker kind of started it. From a live-action point of view. You know? And it was really hard, because you have to pop that shit, you know what I'm saying? Nicholson did a really fucking good job. Especially with the tone of the movie. And yeah. Oh, the newer Batman movies? Oh, with what's his name? What's his name again? Who played Batman again? He damn it, man, he was in heat. What hell's his name? I don't have the key. Yeah, Velcro, yes. Oh, man. It was weird, though. It was like, it was a totally different tone. Like, the tone was really off. Fucking Jim Carrey. Oh. What's her name? Uh, Uma Thurman as uh, Poison Ivy. Fucking weird, man. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Lee Jones! <laughs> yeah, Tommy Lee Jones with Two-Face! <laughs> right, right, holy fuck, I forgot about that. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was peak Uma, was it? Oh man, I only saw those movies once and I'm pretty sure I'll never watch them ever again. 
Those are some fucking awful movies. Okay, this is pointing to the right. I think we're gonna need these fire watermelons for something. The scorn was like, grab them. There's something we need to burn. I actually really like Affleck Batman, but Snyder has no idea what the character is about. Oh, dude, Affleck Batman is hilarious. I remember when I first, like, when we first watched that movie. I don't know, I think, I think it was, like, Batman v Superman or some shit. And you saw Affleck just, like, fucking, like, there was, like, this, uh, car chase scene. And then Affleck just starts killing everyone. And I was just like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> this is so great. It was wild. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck? So it was like the Frank Miller version or whatever. So kill cow. Dude, the, the best scene. I, I showed you guys that scene before. Dude, that scene where Af uh, Affleck fucking lifts those weights is so amazing, dude. It's like the best workout scene I've ever ever seen. It's so good. You guys remember it. It's fucking amazing. He's like pulling this tire on the chain. He's like, ah, ah, and he drops these two dumbbells. Dude, these dumbbells were like, <laughs> they looked like they were like 200 pounds each. It was like savage. <laughs> I don't know, it's such a good scene. It's like really short. It's only like like 10 seconds long, but I thought it was fucking hilarious. It, it's just it's just cool seeing um a, a a jaded Batman, you know? A Batman that's like who's pretty much just given up. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like remember he's like, you know, you, you know, criminals are like weeds. Like he's like so jaded. He doesn't give a shit, right? Uh, Robin's like dead at that point. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's a, it's, it's just a cool arc of Batman, I guess, to see, because you know it's grim. Well, keep in mind too, Slack that. Even though it was Snyder that directed it, or directed part of it, uh, it's still based on Frank Miller's version of Batman, though. Like, it's not, you know, Snyder's version of what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> punished Batman. I'm just saying you can't blame everything on, uh, Snyder. You can't direct shoot a film to save his life. What? There's some good Snyder films. There's, uh... Uh... I liked Watchmen, like I said. I liked Watchmen. And he was... Pretty close to the material, except for obviously, like, you know... The ending. Uh... I liked, uh, Dawn of the Dead. I really liked that movie. Even though it has zombies that can run, and as we know, if there's zombies that can run, it's automatic GG's. Uh, what about 300? There's, yeah, 300. Jesus Christ, how did I forget about that movie? Dawn of the Dead is probably his best film. I'm pretty sure that's his first film. <laughs> that zombies are zombies. Yeah, we talked about that before. Guys, where the fuck do I go? I'm so lost. No, Sucker Punch was fucking terrible, dude. <laughs> Sucker Punch was horrible. I wanted to walk out of the theater in that movie. It was so bad, dude. <laughs> Fuck that movie. That movie was horrible.
Oh, there's a key here, guys. Dude, that scene where, uh... I don't even know what the name of those characters are, dude. The, this, the scene where she's, like, fighting this giant samurai. Like, when I say giant samurai, I mean a samurai literally the size of a fucking tower. And he, like, hits her with the sword and she flies, like, 50 feet. And then hits a wall and falls down and she gets right up. I was like... I, like, leaned back in my seat in the theater. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, oh my god, I got to sit through two hours with this shit. Okay, we are so lost now. It's funny you should say that, because I actually did walk out on that one. What part? When did you... What was the breaking point for you? Dude, when the movie started, I thought it was going to be good. Like, the, there's a starting scene in, in, in Sucker Punch, where it's... it's uh, It goes through the whole, like... How she goes to the asylum, right? And they do it all without dialogue. It's all without dialogue. I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then, holy fuck, did it go downhill from there. That's literally the best part of the movie. It's probably the intro. I forgot I didn't make it very far. Is there any other movies I'm missing? Okay, we see the key is there. It's to our left. What are these fire watermelons for? Like, there's gotta be for something. Like, there's gotta be something we can- that we hit from it. Because they keep respawning, and they're everywhere. I didn't respawn there. This game's a puzzle game. And it gives us eggs here. Oh, there's a flower up there. And we see the key. See the key. Now we get it. And there's a there's a jump spot there too. Shoot egg red flower. I I try to shoot the red flower, hold on a second. Try again. But even if I do shoot the red flower, how do I how does that help me? Looks like there's a path here that I start from there. Like there's something on the other area above, it seems. There's something up here. Come on, let's keep this check. Oh, there is. There definitely is. Come on. Okay, okay. Ah, whatever. Okay, we got a key. And here's the flower. Nice. Yeah. Hey Roy, how are you doing, man? Berry of Storm? I do. Remember Anna Paquin as, uh, <laughs> as a rogue? As a rouge? Yeah, all good, Roy. I gotta keep an eye on my mods, you know? I gotta keep an eye. We're, we're, lo we're losing mods faster than we're gaining them. Damn it, man, this area is cancer. The war zone down here. Okay, 
I really think of Ali Bear, I don't remember her much from from uh what's it called? X-Men. And thank goodness I never watched that Catwoman movie. I remember her mostly from uh what's that movie called? Swordfish? You guys remember that movie with fucking Travolta? And what's his name's in it too, man? Hugh Jackman's in that movie. Yeah, he's a fucking like hacker in that movie or something. Did you guys like that movie, Swordfish? <laughs> it was okay. Oh, I guess you can use the boulder to climb up there, too. Face off? Oh yeah, that's when that's like that's what started the whole like Travolta being casted as a villain in every fucking movie. The more monitors, the more hard hacking was. <laughs> yeah, hacking tropes are great. <laughs> that's true. I, I remember that too. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like ten monitors for. For ultimate uh, multitasking, dude. Holy shit! Yeah, he had a, like a streamer setup. <laughs> okay, how do we get in the next area now? I even like got. To oh, maybe we. I'm not using the rock. That's fine. Right. Guys, we've been on this level for like an hour. I just want you guys to know this. It's hard for me to pay attention because we're talking about so much shit. But the the four people on YouTube watching this are probably just like dying inside watching me like mindlessly run around not doing anything. Okay, let's find this damn key door. Where is it? <gasps> no! Did I mean the door out here? I can go to the right? Hold on a second. Let's look. I don't remember seeing the key door. Is it bottom bottom right or up here? Oh, there's a checkpoint here. Oh, right here. Perfect. Perfect. The coins led me to it. the coin spawn. Dude, that level was insane, guys. Holy shit. We were stuck in the level for so long. Like an hour, guys. Oh, that level was hard. Okay, we gotta pay attention, guys. We need to pay attention here. Match cards. Is this the one I have to memorize? Okay, I think this is it. Okay, hold on. Focus, 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 guys. Uh-huh, that's easy. Uh-huh, that's easy, too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 hold on. This is free, this is free. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, watch this. You guys need to remember the other ones. This one here. I remember them all? No, you don't. Uh -huh. and these ones? Okay. And then this one? Uh huh. Okay. That's it. That's all I remember. That's all I remember, guys. I need your help. These two match? These two right here? Are you talking about these ones, Roy? Top row match. Top. These two. These two. But adjacent to the to the S, this one, right? Okay, this one. 
Okay. Alright, so which one's which now? These are the last four. Bottom right, then up to the left. So these two right here, are these two? These ones? I think, no matter what, we win, because we get one wrong guess. Nice, good shit. Wow, how many lives we got for that? Holy smokes. Man, that level was so tough. We deserve we deserve those lives after that. It was brutal.